Hello everyone, my name is Confident and in this video, I'd like to show you how to pass data across pages on AppSmith. Right here on the page, we have a simple application that has two pages. We have the registration page and we also have the data page that displays the user data. So going back to the registration page, we want it such that when a user enters his name and email, clicking on the submit button will take the user to the data page and have that data displayed. On AppSmith, this functionality can be implemented using two features. The first is the query parameter feature, and the second is the store value function. So I'll start by showing you how to do this using the query parameter feature. So to enable this functionality using the query parameter feature, all I have to do is to configure the submit button such that when it is clicked on, we actually go to perform a navigation to the data page. And I can use the GUI here to build that functionality or I can go into the JavaScript mode to do the same. So I'm just going to navigate to the data page and then what I want to do is to pass up an object that will have the name which is the name um, the user entered using the input1.text and we also want to pass up the email which will be coming from input input2.text and there we are sending up the email and the name as query parameters when the user tries to navigate to the data page. So we can go in to test this by typing in a name using input1. So let's say something like John. And then we also want to send up an email. So let's type john at do.com. And then clicking on the submit button will perform that navigation and add that data to the query parameters of this page URL. So we can go in to access that data. So right here in the text for widgets, what I can do to access that data is going to be using the appsmith.url.queryparams. And then I have access to the query parameters. We have the name object. So we have the name key. So this will be dot name. And there we are displaying the user's name. We also can do the same for the email. So this is going to be appsmith dot url dot query parameters dot email and then we have the user's email also displayed so this is how you can pass data across pages using the query parameter feature the second way you can do this is using the store value function and to show you how to use this um, function i'll let's go back to the registration page and here we want to similarly configure the submit button to perform a navigation but before that we want to store the data the user entered um, from the input fields on the page so let's go back let's go to the submit button to do this um, so in the javascript here on the on click of the button what we want to do we want to perform the navigation but before that we want to save the data entered by the user so to do that i'm just going to cut all the entries here and I'll want to write an ify. The reason why we're writing an ify right here is because we want to write some multi-line JavaScript. So let's put some ify right here. And inside of this, we can go in to paste the navigate to function. But before that, let's store the data entered by the user. So let's do store value using the store value function. And we'll need to give it a key. So for this key, let's call it user. And then we can also pass the data we want to store into user. So for that data, we can just um, copy the object we have right here. In fact, I'm just going to cut this out and replace it with an empty object and paste that right here so that we are passing up the data entered from the form by the user. And then we can go ahead to perform the navigation using the navigate to function. All right, so let's test this out. So this is going to be Mary and then Mary at do.com. And then clicking on the submit button is going to store that data into the local store and we can go ahead to use that. So let's display that data right here. So to display that data, this is going to be appsmith.store.the key name, which in this case we set that to user and then we'll have access to the name. And then we have Mary showing up. And similarly, we can also display the email. So this is going to be appsmith dot store dot user dot email and we have the email showing up right there 
So these are the two ways you can pass data across pages. The first is using the query parameter feature and the second is using the store value function. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a like, get subscribed and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.